It has been a few days since the patch, and what do we know so far? Honestly, the only thing that I am completely certain of is that it seems that we don't really know what is up and what is down, at least when it's coming to the Great One. That was a terrible shot on that guy. I just need the respawn, so uh, get them down eventually anyway. But... We're still seeing reports of dead great ones. We're still seeing reports of alive ones. And it doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of truth to any of it. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, some people claim that they have shot um, other animals and then it spawns in dead next to them. They have, uh, some have just found them randomly. And uh, some has, like uh, our good friend Kill Clinton, actually seen one walk about alive. The problem we have is that there just does not seem to be a silver lining in between what is going on however some people say that respawns is the way to go for them and the initial spawns are broken how i i just don't see that being the case because the very first one that was uh, found was found in a zone that actually was used and had had a uh Fellow Deer shot in that zone earlier in the game, so he would have found that if it was an initial spawn when he was there. So I don't know. I mean, hopefully we're going to figure something out. EW has addressed that there is an issue with them, though, as well as there is a little bit of different issues as well. And they have given us a uh, estimation of somewhat when we can expect stuff to be fixed or at least what they're working towards, because Megles went out and uh, she put a uh, community post out saying howdy hunters we have a couple of things to touch on after yesterday's support news uh, this is from yesterday actually uh, post update box apex connect login difficulties for some users and find the latest known issues list uh, after yesterday's update on our top priority issues we have confirmed that the missing content for xbox players and the fast travel legacy bug will be fixed in the next patch date date is coming soon so basically what we're getting told here is that they are not going to be addressing anything until we are getting the next dlc which we i believe we found all the clues for now and everything is hinting towards mississippi the mississippi river that is pretty much guaranteed to be in the south end of the mississippi river as well so maybe we're looking into some louisiana bio kind of style map which um i'm not really sure what to think about to be perfectly honest we have the if it is confirmed that we're getting a uh, alligator to that map with the alligator sound being one of the clues then I guess it really is going to ride or die with how the mechanics of the alligators are going to work. Um, and if we are going to have the introduced, the new waterfowl we work by the time we are getting the map or if that is something to come later. Because I have a feeling if we're getting a biomap, it is going to be very centered around hunting waterfowl. And if we're going to be doing that with the current mechanics, I don't see it being a huge success so hopefully they have that a lot closer than i thought they did after we watched the dev stream some weeks ago where they had a dev on talking about well they were working on that for 2022 but if that's already already going to be introduced as um the new assumably new map is coming out then it could maybe be a almost decent map I know that I'm probably being a little bit pessimistic about things here, but I would love EW to prove me wrong. I have just so many times been disappointed. So now I'm trying a little bit of a more uh, prove me wrong kind of approach rather than going out there and try to hype up something that initially I believe is not going to be a great success. It is going to be a back-to-back -back North American map, if it is a map, but everything is pointing towards it. I've even uh, heard Andy talk about in his video, I will link to that in the video or in the description down below, that uh, some data mining has been going on in the community. Nothing that I have anything to do with, I'm just sharing news here. And um, it actually says for the files that it is Mississippi Clues. But uh, go and check out Andy's video on that and... Oh my god, red right deer coming there. Uh, oh. Well, that's a way to do it as well. I kind of wanted to go back, so perfect. But yeah, 
I don't know what I'm gonna be thinking of that. Um, we need a good release. We need something that is not bugged to kill the hype immediately, like we've we've seen with the Red Deer uh, Grade One. It's it's very very unfortunate when they do something like this and they end up having the one thing they introduce not working correctly. It definitely does kill a lot of the fun for a lot of people. And I read your comments, guys. I do share your frustration with it as well. You can go out and hunt it. I mean, you might find it dead. You might find it alive. You might find it... I don't know. Maybe flying. Something seems to be flying at this point as well. And in terms of an actual release date when it comes to looking towards having the uh, fixes and such implemented, if they are going to be introduced with a new map, we're probably looking at the beginning to mid-December. If they are following the uh, blueprint that they've been running previously, where we get a map in December and usually they start hyping it up by the end of November, which would make a lot of sense with them introducing the uh, clues already now, then we're probably going to be having like some reveal stuff by the end of November and hopefully we're going to have a release preferably on all platforms but that might be wishful thinking in early december maybe mid-december and we will all be out there but until then i guess we're stuck with what we have and um, have to try to make the best of it so guys thank you so very much for watching